I'm Dr. Manveer Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist. This is in continuation of our series uh, with questions that are often asked by patients and we are trying to address them one by one. Another very important question that once we advise somebody to use the pap, they ask, doctor, so if I lose weight, can I get rid of this device? So let's understand a little bit about the relationship between weight and sleep apnea. So it's well known that approximately maybe 60 to 70% of patients with sleep apnea will be obese. And we will have a separate uh, question answer series on what about those who are not obese. So let's focus on the obese. So 70% have sleep apnea, or have obesity uh, along with sleep apnea. What about the other way around? Those people who are obese, they are at greater risk for sleep apnea. So between the overweight, mild obesity, moderate and severe or morbid obesity, the percentages go up with almost morbid, morbid obesity could be 80% and others could be about 40 to 50%. So there is a strong relationship between weight and sleep apnea. So as the weight increases, a 10% increase in weight can maybe increase the severity of sleep apnea or by AHI by 30-35%. Similarly, a decrease in weight by 10% will decrease the AHI. So let's assume that one is 100 kg and you lose 10%, that means you are 90 kg. The, what will this do to the severity of the disease? It drops it by about 20-25%, the AHI. So if your AHI was 100, now it will be 75. So thus, losing weight will have an impact on changing the severity of disease. Will it cure sleep apnea? I think it is uh, not yet confirmed. We have enough data that the sleep apnea can still remain and thus needs to be evaluated. But that doesn't mean that you don't lose the weight. Weight is by itself a risk factor for diabetes, arthritis, and et cetera, and you know, cardiac problems. So that's the relationship between weight and sleep apnea. They are both closely related and impact each other. So once you decrease the weight, sleep apnea severity will decrease and usage of PAP will become better, pressures will come down, and maybe if you're moderate, you'll become mild and lots of options will open up. I hope we have clarified this relationship and the impact of weight on uh, management of sleep apnea. So if you like this video, do look out for more. Uh, we will be posting them often on the YouTube channel and you can share it with others who you think might benefit from this.